George, your first pre-season. It's quite a big one, Abu Dhabi, a special place. Since you've arrived, how have you felt and what's your opinions on going on the tour? Yeah, it's almost, all went, all went by very quickly, actually. Um, so I got the call up, I mean, the Friday before we went. And it was a case of, you know, get everything together really quickly. And suddenly before I knew it, I was on the plane coming out here. It's, it's been amazing first few days. Uh, great experience being in the environment, professional environment. Um, you know, a lot of challenges, especially with cricket, not just on the field, but off the field as well. You know, just really engaging with the, with the lads and getting used to, I guess, how professional cricket works uh, and getting a taste of it. Uh, an opportunity that I wasn't necessarily expecting, but you know, I take it with both hands and I'm really enjoying it so far. Cricket is obviously a lot about on the field, but a lot goes away off it. There's a real good bond with this group and you must be able to have seen that since you've been here. Yeah, definitely. Um, whether that be like restaurant uh, in the evenings, you know, good chats or not on the bus, you know, get the music going and a few decent song choices. You get a lot of smiles on faces, so it's nice. How's the training gone for you as well? Because I know you've been working with Pop and you obviously got the ability to speak to other bowlers yourself and kind of get some tips. How's that gone? Yeah, it's gone well. So yesterday we had our first like, uh, middle practice. Uh, white, we're doing white ball for a few scenarios in the middle overs and also the death. Uh, I spoke a bit with Ollie Hannon Dolby. Uh, and it's great to have someone with his experience. Um, and we're just discussing plans, whether that be in fields, what ball, you, ball you're going to bowl. Uh, it was training on the body, obviously first, first decent bowl out, outdoors. But it was, it was worth it, it was really enjoyable. Uh, testing, you know, bowling at some good batters. Uh, but yeah, it was really good having someone like Oli uh, to, to bowl with, it's nice. It's always a pretty exciting good time for yourself because you're working your way through the academy and this sure. opportunity, you must sense that a big chance for you now to kind of grasp this and hopefully over the next coming years be more of a regular than the first one. Definitely, definitely. And I think it's a lot it's a lot to take in when you're out here, whether that be, you know, you're working something technical, so I'm working on my run up, then you've got a bowl at you know batters at a different level, the margin for error is so much smaller. You know, it's bowling at Haney yesterday. Like if you get anything wrong, not 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 just to Haney, but Haney in particular, if you got anything wrong, it was, you know, dispatched to the boundary, whereas if you're playing I don't know, let's say under nineteens Cricket for for Warwickshire, you can get away bowling a few a few bad balls. So in that that's where just you know really getting getting used to that and really honing in your skills and hopefully spending time in this environment will really help me on on the route to hopefully signing a first professional contract in the coming years. Obviously, one thing that we had saw yesterday was the amount of work that goes in the preparation into the season. The hundred overs bowled in the morning. Yeah. Uh, what, what is your take on that? And, show you how much you have to be, how much effort you have to do and how much work you have to do to become a professional cricketer. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, I mean, I think I think coming over here, you always, always, I always knew that it was going to be physically enduring, it was going to be tough. But I, just, I enjoy it. I as in all the lads were saying, just spend as much time as you can in the middle when you're young, especially. I mean, I mean I'm only 19. Look at someone, Tim Ambrose has spent many a year being in a professional, professional environment. So I'm just, you know, just take everything in my stride. Um, really, really spend as much time as I can out there, and I don't mind it. I'm still, I'm, my legs might be stiff, but I'm sure they're not nowhere near as stiff as someone like Ambu. But yeah. And going back to the environment, who's your roommate, and uh, how's that going on? And are you enjoying that kind of atmosphere? Yeah, so I'm with Alex Thompson, and uh, we're having, the, having a good laugh. Yeah, we have, we're interested. He's into his fishing, um, and the Cheltenham races at the moment, and I'm into that. So we're, we're, we're away from cricket. We're, have nice little well, nice chats about that. This is something just to take our mind off of the, the cricketing environment that we have out here. And is there anyone else you formed a bond with? Was there anyone you had a bond with before you came here, or you don't much kind on your own? Yeah, so I've well, I'm George and I went to school with, uh, so I've known I know George for a while now, uh, and then Henry Brooks. I've I've played played with him since uh, under 17s. So I've come up with him through the age groups, and I've seen the last few years he's taken the world by storm. Um, and it's great to see how well he's done. So please, someone that. Um, he'd love me to say this, look up to, um, but at the same time, no, as inspiration, to say, well, Brooksy can do it, I don't know, why can't I? Uh, but it's been nice, and yeah, a few of the, I spent a bit of time in the winter with the, some of the bowlers, and Pops got me involved, so I know a few familiar faces, and everyone's been really welcoming, um, and I've really enjoyed it so far, like, that's helped everyone being really, you know, to commun like, talk to, talk to with me, asking me how I'm doing, getting on, or, you know, just saying hello in the morning, it's just, just making me feel really welcome, and I feel like I'm, you know, part of the side, which is nice.